Marco, it's always great to catch up with you at Icky Events um, because we usually get some great insight. Um, I believe uh, at the Congress you're working on big data uh, phase two. So tell us all about that. Thank you, Ian. That's correct. Uh, actually, we're now in the preparations for our uh, Congress. It's, uh, this is the Saturday that we're talking. And on Monday, we hope to plan uh, to launch our second edition of the Big Data Project, which is a very big step forward for our members. And I will try to explain why this is so. In the first uh, phase, we were able to, together with the technology provided by our member company, Human Equation, to uh, identify the possible champions that could lead a bid project for our members through very powerful search engines like a Microsoft Academic Search, a Google Scholar, we were able to identify people that could meet the criteria that are needed to lead a bidding project for a future edition of a Congress. So that was very exciting. But then we discovered through feedback from our members that they needed one step more, they needed something else. And that other step was to show if that potential champion was involved in previous Congress activity, yes or no, or if he or she was attached to any international association in any sort of form. So that was our big challenge. How could we link those two things up? So how could we connect those two very powerful uh, sources of data? How could we make that work? What we've done is we've sent to the company that developed the tool, uh, Human Equation, all of the URLs stored in our database all the URLs concerning the associations and all the URLs concerning the events that we have in our website, in our database. And those are thousands, tens of thousands of URLs. And what the tool now does is use that information that is stored in those URLs and is trying to find a match between the names that are in those URLs with the names that appear in the Microsoft Academic Search pages. And that's a very exciting technology. I didn't know it existed. It's called Semantic Web. And apparently the tool can find any string of text or a name or, or, and, and match it to the names that we have in the URLs in our database. So in this way, our members can see, okay, this person is a potential champion, which is nice. But now we're going to put on top of that information a button saying this is an active champion. Right. This person is indeed active in the meetings world, so to speak. And that gives our members a much bigger uh, in insight into, okay, is it worth my while to follow this up and attract and contact this person, yes or no? So that's a really vital step, and our members are, are what I've seen so far, already very excited about this. Although I must say that the tool in its first phase already, as studies have shown, have increased the effectiveness of our members' research by 10%. Wow. So we estimate that the second phase will boost that percentage uh, way up higher. So that's very exciting. And uh, the other part I want to mention is uh, the explore industry topics that we have, where you can just do a more general search about, okay, what sort of topics are uh, up and running in my, in my destination. And in the past, you only could see uh, the global picture. You could only see the top universities in a certain taxonomy. And what we've now done is edit the information, drilled it down, and it shows you now the top universities in your region. Wow. So in a range of 50 kilometers, within your, in your city, what are the top universities and how do they compare to the global universities? So in this way, our members can do what we call a destination comparison. They can see, okay, my destination is this strong in this particular field. Mm -hmm. And if you know who your competitors are, you can already check how strong are your competitors in that field. So that gives our members, apart from the normal destination comparison report that we have, another tool of playing with the competitiveness between destinations and venues. And that, I think, is uh, also a big, big step forward.